Makanda and the country at large are experiencing an ever-present problem. There are stray dogs around the community, and whilst their overpopulation is an issue of great proportion on its own, the alarming outbreaks of rabies within the neighboring cities of Makanda has made this a potential health hazard for both the dogs and the people living in this town. This is especially important because according to the World Health Organization, dogs contribute to 99% of the human transmission of rabies. Furthermore, according to the WTG, 15% of animals are vaccinated regularly against the virus or the animals are killed out of fear of a possible infection. A big contributing factor to these statistics is the fact that 85% of all companion animals in South Africa are kept in the townships. This issue thus being amplified by the overpopulation of dogs and the fact that vet care is scarce around these areas. However, the Makanda Vet Clinic, led by Dr. Amy Jackson Moss, alongside the SPCA, fight back against this sad reality, with vaccinations and sterilizations offered and encouraged to townships such as Olani, Sun City, and Gani townships at no cost by the Makanda Vet Clinic, so as to combat the problem of stray dogs as well as a potential outbreak of rabies. Like at the moment we're working in Sun City area in Grahamstown so we have got a number of donations to work specifically in that area so we go in and we chat to the community, we get involved there and then we select dogs to be sterilised and we bring them in, sterilise them and then return them again and that is at no cost to the owners. This year with the outbreak in PE they have been taken, um, the Resources from Grahamstown State Fed Office have been taken to PE to try and help with the situation there, which means that no animals in the Grahamstown Township community have been vaccinated for rabies this year, which is why we then felt we needed to step in and try and assist these communities to get their, back, their dogs vaccinated, and also because of the fact that there is such a terrible outbreak in our neighbouring cities. As recently as Wednesday the 6th of October 2021, Dr. Amy and Malodi Dingana from the SPCA set off to the Ghani informal settlement to perform a reported 500 vaccinations, seven of which were cats and the rest being dogs. Spending her day looking out for the future well-beings of these animals alongside fellow medical health worker Dr. Arobind Pariachi. The Makana Vet Clinic um, offers uh, reduced veterinary fees to people um, who cannot afford traditional private veterinary care. So people who are unemployed, receiving SASA grants, um, and you know people who are generally just struggling financially, we try and help them as much as we can. So in these cases, we ask the owners really just to cover the costs of the medication or a small nominal professional fee just to assist in our covering of the costs. And then we also use donations to provide free sterilizations for people within targeted areas. On top of the great work done in the Ghani community during the vaccinations, Dr. Amy has also been making waves on social media, gaining international recognition as she speaks on the importance of sterilization. And she certainly practices what she preaches as she offers partially free sterilizations for dogs situated in Golani, with dog owners only requested to pay for the dog's medication. But what is sterilization and why is it so important? When we talk about sterilizing animals, we are talking about either spaying them, which is in the case of females, where we remove their ovaries and their uterus so they can't come on heat, they can't carry litters of puppies, they can't get pregnant. And then in males, um, we call it castrating, where we remove both testes so they can't actually reproduce and um, mate to to create extra puppies. So we do find in terms of population control that spaying is much more effective, um, which is why our, the majority of our focus is on spaying the females. But we will never say no to helping males as well, because sterilization is also um, important in terms of the animal's overall health and condition. So it's we won't turn away males, it's just 
In terms of population control, if we had to choose one or the other, we would probably focus rather on the spaying than the castrating. There are a number of unwanted animals being born into our world on a daily basis, and unfortunately there's just not enough space for all of the animals that are being born. While filming Dr. Amy perform a sterilization, we sadly learned that even with all the benefits that come with sterilization, it can take a toll on a dog's body. So we take out both the uterus and both of the ovaries. A lot of the dogs that we spare are really not in good condition. They've often got Lyme diseases. Um, they're very malnourished. They've got wounds. So. And some arrive in weak conditions, thus resulting in the loss of a life. But thankfully, this wasn't one of those days. Mm -hmm. We very nearly lost you. Mm -hmm. She was not breathing and her heart wasn't very high. Dr. Amy uses her passion for animals and newfound fame to urge us all to help dogs where we can. And she most certainly walks the talk, both figuratively and literally. Man's best friend certainly has guardian angels looking out for them in the Makana Vet Clinic.